Howdy folks, how are you all doing? My name is Reese, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the Technic Launcher, which will allow you to play all Tekkit mod packs, including the most recently released Tekkit SMP from Xjohn, who recently also brought us the Tekkit 2 mod pack and the Hexit 2 mod pack. Now, Tekkit SMP is a sort of successor to Tekkit 2. It is Tekkit 2 with some extra mods added in to sort of make it more of a spiritual successor to the original Technic SMP pack from over a decade ago. It's a lot of fun. Me and my brother have been doing a Let's Play series of it. It's been great. Check it out on the channel if you want to. But today I'm going to show you how to install it on Windows 10, although the process is pretty much identical on Windows 11. And I'm also going to show you where to get it for Mac OS and Linux. Now, I don't actually play on Windows. I'm a Linux gamer. I, I know. I have to come out and state it. I also don't really use the Technic Launcher. I use something called PolyMC, which allows me to install all mod packs. But today I'm going to show you the official method using the actual Technic Launcher. So on your desktop, navigate to your browser of choice. I'm going to be using, uh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm using LibreWolf. But uh, the first link in the description is going to take you to the Technic Pack website, technicpack.net. Specifically, the link I'm going to put down there will take you to the Downloads tab. From here, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see it's time to get started. You can select the Windows, Mac, or Linux version. And if you've ever installed a program on Mac, you can pretty much take it from here. If you're on Linux, it doesn't even really install. You just double click the launcher and it opens. And then finally for the Windows version, I'm going to walk you through it here. It's going to ask what you want to do. Click save file. Now, oftentimes people will ask me where this file is going to end up when it's saved. Uh, normally it's in your downloads folder. If for some reason it isn't, I'm not at your computer. I can't help you find it, but most browsers will have it on the screen somewhere. So if you're using Chrome or a Chromium based browser down here in the bottom left, it'll show you the download status. And when it's finished, you can click on it. If you're on something like Firefox or LibreWolf, which is built on Firefox, it'll be up here on the top right. You will see this download icon and it'll show you everything that's been downloaded. And you can click this handy folder icon to go right to the folder where it's been downloaded, which again should be your downloads. Now, if you've played any Minecraft at all ever, your computer probably already has Java installed, but you will need Java version 8 in order to play Tekkit SMP. It's built on Minecraft version 1.12. So that requires an older version of Java. It should already be on your computer. If it's not, just navigate to the website and download Java for Windows or what have you. Once the file is downloaded, navigate to your downloads folder and double click on the Technic Launcher. That will actually open the Launcher installer. And from here, you can make a few choices. Now using the default directory, we'll install it to the same place that Minecraft is installed. If you've ever had to navigate to your Minecraft folder and you've gone up here and you've typed in percent app data percent that's where the default directory installation will put the game i recommend leaving it there unless you have a reason to change it you can unclick this and then select to put it on a secondary drive or something like that or you can do a portable mode and that if you have a thumb drive that you want to carry minecraft around with you this is what i would recommend but for most people don't change anything on the screen. Just go ahead and click install. So you'll get the icon here, the which is kind of hard to see. It, 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 the screen is full of a lot of blue. I've got this Stellar Blade wallpaper. Great game, by the way, which has a lot of blue in it. So here we are. This is the screen where you're going to need to add your Microsoft account. There's the ability to add the Mojang account, but that doesn't really work anymore. You're going to have to use a Microsoft account because you do have to own Minecraft to play Tekken. This is where I lose a lot of people. Some people are looking for free piratey ways to get access to this. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm going to show you. You'll need to own Minecraft. Uh, you'll also notice that it did open a terminal. You don't need to worry about that. You don't close it. You can just shrink it out of the way for right now or leave it open if you want to watch what it's doing. To link your Microsoft account, though, you need to just click the button that says add Microsoft account and it should automatically open your browser. So mine here is asking me whether or not it is allowed to do what it's doing. I'm gonna go ahead and hit allow access and type in my password. And now over here, you can see the login page for your Microsoft account. So it's already got my email address in there. I'm gonna click next and then it's going to ask me, I have an authenticator set up. It might just prompt you to type in your password. If that's the case, type in your password. Otherwise grab your authenticator and authenticate. There you go. Once you've done that, it'll say receive verification code. You may now close this window 
And you'll notice in the background, we have the Technic Launcher, which is proudly advertising that Techit SMP is now available in the launcher. So we have a couple of things we can do here. One, if you'd like to change your settings, you can go up here to Launcher Options and you can go over to your Java settings and increase the allocated memory, which I would recommend you do. It doesn't matter exactly what you set it to, but it depends on how much memory you have. If you have at least eight gigs of memory, I would go ahead and set this to a minimum of four. If you have less than eight gigs of memory, you're going to have trouble with a lot of different mod packs, but I would never allocate more than half of what you've got. So if you've got four gigs of system memory, throw two gigs. If you've got eight, do four. If you have more than that, you're really only going to benefit from higher amounts of memory if you're using a big resource pack, something like Sfax, you know, the pure DB craft, the, what you're used to seeing if you watched the old Yogscast Tekkit series or the old Brashiat Cub Tekkit series, maybe. In that case, you're going to want higher memory. I'm going to pick 16, not because it's going to be super beneficial, but because I have 96 gigs of memory. So why wouldn't I? This is also where you can set your default Java. As you can see, I have many versions of Java installed, but remember, you're going to want 1.8 for the Tekkit SMP mod pack what we're going to do is go to mod packs and over here you can see you can download a variety of different mod packs right at the gate including tech it tech it space from circa 2013 i want to say uh we've got tech it 2 tech it legend and tech it smp as well as the hexit packs and if there's something else you're looking for just type in tech it and i guarantee you it's got what you want tech it classic is here tech it light the only version of Tekkit I never really played. Uh, you've got Texit, which is fun. It's a mix of Tekkit and Hexit. I've not played the fourth iteration, but it's built on 1.19. So I probably should get into playing that at some point. That sounds like a great time. The classic pack. There's all kinds of community packs here as well. Pixel Pokey players, if you're into that sort of thing. But this is a tutorial for Tekkit SMP. Now we could click install, but real quick, I wanted to draw your attention to mod pack options, where if for whatever reason you want to change the version, you can click on this and select from, well, version zero or version 0.1. Doesn't really matter, but in the future, as things change, if you find that you don't like a change that's been made to the pack, you can roll it back very easily. But I'm going to leave it on recommended version and I'm going to click install and it should take everything away in the background. You won't have to do anything. While this is happening, earlier we mentioned the Pure BD Craft, or Sfax as many of you may know it, but did I mention that I have a tutorial for how to install that with not just the vanilla textures, but the modded textures as well? There's a link in the description to that tutorial if you're interested. Uh, go ahead and give that a look if you want your version of Tech at SMP to look like Tech at Classic did in all of your favorite YouTubers videos. So now that it's finished downloading, you see we have the options to delete pack and play. So I'm going to click play. We've got some fantastic music in the background. If you'd like to change the settings, you're more than welcome to. And I'm going to give you a quick tip here. If you get tired of hearing the sounds of IC2 machines, go to your settings, music and sounds, IC2 sound options, and you can individually control the sound of IC2 uh, machines and whatnot from inside of here, which is pretty useful. Because trust me, if you have a macerator running 24 seven, it can be a bit grating, but we're gonna create a new world. Yeah, we'll just go with new world. No need to get fancy with it. Make sure that it all loads in okay. And there we are. We are officially playing Tekkit SMP. We are loaded in. And here's one other tip for you. If you would like to see what you're looking at using Whalia, which literally stands for what am I looking at? You can hit the number one on your number pad, but make sure you have NumLock enabled and that'll enable Whalia. If you don't have a number pad, uh, what you can do instead is open up your mod options. So pause the game, don't hit options, hit mod options. And then down here, type in what am I looking at or W-A-I-L-A. -A. Select Whalia, go back down here to config and then hit Whalia again. And right up here at the top where it says show hide Whalia, you can toggle that from hidden, which is the default to visible. And just like that, you are now playing the latest Tekkit version and you're able to tell what you're looking at which is uh, quite a bit of fun. This is kind of a nice seed too. This is very classic Minecraft. Something about this seed looks very, very throwback. I mean, I know there's a lot of tall grass and a bunny hopping around, but uh, we've got a nice, interesting looking forest over here. Okay, if you'd like to play this along at home, uh, the seed is dash 46520164255432126652. Until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you and I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>